Quarter 1, Module 2 uses technology in the conduct of survey in propagating trees and fruit trees. Lesson 1 uses technology in the conduct of survey to find out the elements to be observed in planting trees and fruit bearing trees. Let's learn new terms. Number 1. Fertile soil. A place where something begins or develops in large amounts. Fertile soil in Filipino, matabang lupa. Number 2. Seed. A flowering plant's unit of reproduction capable of developing into another such plant. Seed in Filipino, buto o binhi. Number 3. Moisture is the water stored in the soil and is affected by precipitation or ulan, temperature, soil characteristics, and more. Air and water, the gas and liquid phases, exist in the pores. Ito po ang pinatawag natin, hamog. Number 4. Germinate refers to the process by which an organism grows from a seed or a spore. Germinate, ito po ay ang pagtubo. Number 5. Suit. It is the right size or shape for you or for that place. Ibig sabihin, tamang lugar. Let's now begin with challenge number 1. The survey. Do a little research using your phone or the internet and find out or look for the following. Number 1. What do farmers or planters consider before deciding what to plant in their field? Number 2. In your place, what kind of trees grow? How are they grown? Number 3. Basing on the data you gathered, what do you think is the best fruit tree that you can grow on your own? Why? Now let us have some tips on growing trees. Let's try to see if these tips on growing trees came out in your survey. To ensure a higher rate of survival, you must follow these processes. Thinning. To produce strong plants, pull out some crowded seedlings so that the remaining plants will have more room. Pricking. This is done by transferring seedlings from one seed box to another to provide more space for proper development. Water the seedlings before pricking. Hardening. This process is done 7 to 15 days before transplanting. Now talk about the general steps in the proper transferring of plants. Place the seedlings away from direct sunlight. Make sure the seedlings are healthy and fresh before planting. Take the area where you want to plant them. The length and depth of the hole should be according to how big the tree will become. Remove the plants from the plastic bag. Do not remove the soil which holds the roots. Slowly and carefully place the seedlings in the hole. Make sure the main roots are not bent. Cover it with soil. Lightly press the soil. Water the new plants early the next morning. Use a water sprinkler. Plant your seedlings in the afternoon when sunlight is no longer hot to avoid withering. More tips to better grow your trees. Digging the hole. Planting too deep is the top reason that trees and shrubs die. Backfill. The thinking on backfill has changed in recent years. 
Although it was once common to modify the backfill soil with amendments such as compost, peat moss, aged manure, and other ingredients. Planting When moving your plant into the planting hole, disturb the root ball as little as possible. Mulching Apply bark mulch or pine straw to a de depth of 2 to 3 inches over the entire planting hole. Mulching helps conserve water and prevent weeds. Staking Staking at planting time is not always necessary. Consider the stability of the root ball, trunk size, and strength, direction of prevailing winds, canopy size, and density when determining whether or not to stake. Fertilizing We do not recommend fertilizing newly planted trees and shrubs during their first year of growth. Watering The roots should never dry out completely, nor should they be waterlogged. Let's try this one out. It's just a simple fill in the blanks. You have to read and understand the following items. You have to choose your answer from the box. And then, say it out loud, your answer. So that, later, as I reveal the answers, you will also find out if you got it right or you missed it. These are your choices. Fertile soil, pricking, seed, soot, thinning, indirect planting, germinate, moisture, hardening, and direct planting. Let's begin. Number 1. To produce strong plants, pull out some crowded seedlings so that the remaining plants will have more room. Your answer? The correct answer is thinning. I hope you got it right. Let's now proceed with number 2. This process is done 7 to 15 days before transplanting. Your answer. The correct answer is hardening. I hope you got it right. Let's have number 3. This is done by transferring seedlings from one seed box to another to provide more space for proper development. Your answer. The correct answer is pricking. Do you get it right? Number four. The plant needs to be transferred to its permanent place. What is that? The correct answer is indirect planting. Hope you got it right. Let's now proceed with number 5. It's a method of planting where the seeds or parts are directly planted in the soil where it will germinate and grow into full-grown trees. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is direct planting. Number 6. This is a place where something begins or develops in large amounts. What do you think? The correct answer is fertile soil. Let's now proceed with number 7. A flowering plant's unit of reproduction capable of developing into another such plant. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is seed. I hope you got it right. Number 8 refers to the process by which an organism grows from a seed or a spore. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is germinate. Let's have number 9. It is the right size or shape for you or for that place. The correct answer is 
suit number 10 is the water stored in the soil and is affected by precipitation temperature soil characteristics and more air and water the gas and liquid phases exist in the pores what is this the correct answer is moisture I hope you got it all right let us now have challenge number two this is the application please read and observe the picture and the steps how to plant a tree or fruit bearing tree and do this at the back of your house while you are at home due to COVID situation congratulations we have just finished lesson one lesson two is about market demands for fruits and it's coming soon